and welcome or welcome back to Notes on the Good Life. Today we're going to be cash stuffing $2,630 and this will be going towards the last week, week and a half of October. So if you enjoy cash stuffing, budgeting, things like that, then I hope you like, subscribe, and stick around for the rest of the video. All right, so let's go ahead and count up the prop money that I have for today. As a reminder, I do use a cashless cash envelope system. So all my money here in these binders are prop money and they represent the money that my husband and I have in our bank accounts. So let's go ahead and start. We have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 1,700. 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 10, 20. 10. So $2,630, which is what we have planned for today. So let's go ahead. I'm going to zoom you guys into my cash planning sheet here. And as usual, we're going to jump right into our monthly expenses. Okay. So this is all going towards the last week, week and a half of October. So we have 200 going in for groceries. How is everybody's week, day been? We finally made it to the pumpkin patch. So groceries now has 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 550, 60, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 576. Yes. So it's been, temperatures have been dropping a little bit here in Texas, but um, still, you know, kind of warm. Um, and we have, oops, why, hold on, okay, there we go, yeah, still kind of warm, so it was definitely, like, in the 80s when we went, <laughs> um, um, so instead of, like, any hot drinks or anything like that, we mainly just got, like, lemonade, that kind of stuff while we were waiting for rides and things like that, so household is getting 50, so now it has 50, 100, 150, 170, 173, but it was still a really good time. The pumpkin patch that we went to, it's the same one we went to last year and they've really like upped their game as far as what they make available. Gas is getting 50. Um, so there was a lot more stuff to do I, for my son and for kids in general. So now you have 50, 100, 105, 6, 7, 8, especially in the day. So 108. So that was a lot of fun and definitely cool to see. Eating out is we'll be getting 125. And then I let my son pick out which pumpkins he wanted and he picked very decorative ones. So I don't know if we're actually gonna paint them or carve them out. We might get one to like carve out. Um, so eating out now has 100, 200, 220, 40, 50, 60, 62, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 269, I think. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a fun time. Hot, but still a fun time. So date night is getting $75. Okay. Okay, so date night is getting 100, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300. So we were supposed to go on a date night the Friday before my birthday, but we ended up just kind of like rolling it and doing something, just kind of like lumping it all into um, the resort day um, that we did. So. I will likely be using some of the money here to cover the resort day as well, but we do have a breakfast date planned for next week that I'm really looking forward to. Family fun is getting $50. Okay. 
So now Family Fun has 50, 100, and two. Speaking of Family Fun, I signed up for a 5K. <laughs> I'll be doing the turkey trot. Um, um, yeah, the local turkey trot and it's a 5K. And I really just did it for myself so that I could be active, but because it falls on the morning of Thanksgiving, um, my family are also doing it with me. So some will walk, some will run, but the whole fam, like my dog Maui is going to go and then my son is also going to partake. So that should be super fun. T's fun money is 50. So now he has 100. Five, six, seven, eight, one oh eight. Okay, and then for unplanned miscellaneous, not gonna get anything. Unplanned is getting D. Oops. So now we have two hundred dollars in unplanned. Okay. And then that is it for our monthly expenses. Now we are going to my fun money. So we're going to be cash stuffing $470 today. So it's 200. One, two, three, four, five. And then a 20. Okay. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, and 470. Okay, so this is sort of part of a new, we're trying out a new budget. Um, and so we've actually been working with a financial advisor over the past three months. And I haven't talked about it a lot just because I feel like I kind of wanted to wait until we like got all the feedback and like started implementing all of the changes. Uh, if anything that, you know, the financial advisor has worked with us um through so this is just part of an updated budget which i do want to do like a updated monthly budget video sometime soon but we're still kind of working through some of all the plans that she gave us so but at least for certain categories we're starting to implement those plans now and so part of it is that you know, she was like, you know, you can spend a little bit more. You do have a, more in your budget where you could spend a little bit more on yourself. So we're going to start on this. I don't know if I'm always going to be, you know, including or spending this much. Um, Just because I, I'm like, yeah, if there's nothing that I want to spend it on or feel like I value to spend it on, then I can just roll it over for the next month, save it up for a trip or, you know, use it to invest more if I wanted in, you know, a certain month. So we are just, I am just still getting used to kind of this new number, um, which I'm very grateful for <laughs> because, you know, it's, I feel like it's not every, you know, everybody's amount for what they allow themselves to spend or what they can't spend on themselves is not the same. So I'm definitely grateful that I am able to have this much, allocate this much for myself. So, um, yeah. So let's just go ahead and, so I know, uh -huh, we're, we'll, we'll just go uh, all categories. So books, we're gonna put 50 here. So this is for Kindle Limited, Audible, things like that. Budgeting planning still has 50. I'm gonna put another 50 here. Beauty, started to get my nails done, so every three weeks, so that's for that. Self-care, I am gonna add here 100 there. Clothing, I already still have $42 there. Um, I'll put another 20 in there. Okay. And then this remaining 150, I will put just here. I'm I don't necessarily have anything planned um, 
to the end of till the end of October, but that that may change. Um, but anyways, okay. So moving on, nothing for buffer. So for YouTube, I'm gonna be putting in twenty dollars. So now we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 115. Okay. P.O. Box is getting 10. Camera Pro is not going to get anything for right now. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 45 in P.O. Box. all right so now we're going to be moving into my high priority sinking funds so we have health i'm getting 50 so now we have 100 2 3 4 500 600, 603 for health. Okay. Taxes, we are doing, we're skipping home maintenance and car maintenance because those are fully funded. Taxes is getting 300. So now in taxes, we have. 1,000, 2, 3, 4, 4,500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5,000, 5,000, 1, 2, 250, 5,250 dollars. Okay. And then my Roth IRA is getting 300. Okay, we are gonna need to do like a massive cash condensing for this soon. So my Roth IRA has 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 4,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 5,000, 5,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 5,700. Okay. We are on track to be able to fully fund this for next year's contribution. Okay. And then my son's savings in 529 is not getting anything this week. Okay. So now let's move on to my low priority sinking funds. So let's go to birthdays. Birthdays is getting 200. Okay, and this is just essentially to pay us back for um, my birthday. So that'll be like coming out pretty much immediately. Gifts is getting 100. Same. Well, actually, no, the gifts here is for my husband's birthday in November. Annuals is not getting anything. Tax prep will be getting 200. So now in tax prep, we have 100, 210. Okay. So I'm going to check stuff off. Okay. And then that is it for my low priority sinking funds. Now for vacations. This is my vacation and seasonal spending. So all of the pumpkin patch um, costs will come out of this fall savings when I add stuff later on. But for winter, we are adding $30. You know what? Um, I did not look at this before. <laughs> okay, we'll just do $25 here. Just um, 
$25 and then we'll add the other five to vacations. Um, but let me just break this down real quick. One second. Okay, so I broke that 10 into two fives. So now we are adding 25 here. Okay, so now we have 125. I have been really liking um, this system of sort of having separate savings for the seasons, just because there's just so many activities and things like that. It's nice to be able to like save up for that. So now we are going straight to vacations for 200. And this is for an upcoming snowboarding trip. Okay, and I also need to cash condense this. So now we have 1,000, two, 1,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 2,000, 2,000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. So 2,902. So making really good progress on that. Okay, and we do need to get our um, our flights for that really soon. So now we are going to savings challenge. Okay, we are getting closer for my Akatar savings challenge. So we got fifty here. Okay, so now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 425. Almost there. And this is for $700. So pretty big challenge, but so far making good progress. And then for the recipe book, we are also adding... Oh, I, you know what? I was supposed to put this in vacation, so don't let me forget about that. <laughs> Okay, so the recipe card we are going to be putting in $50. So, okay, we'll do the vinegar is $25, onion is $15, so that's $40, and then the bay leaves, $10. I feel like bay leaves make like any type of stew or soup just 10 times better. Okay. So now we have 50 here. So now in this recipe book challenge, we have 100, 150, 70, 90. Hold on, I'm gonna, to make this easier for counting. We have 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 220, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 275, 77, 79, 281, 283, 84, 85, 285 plus 50, that is 325, 335. Yes, okay, so we are almost there. Okay. So that is it for my savings challenge. I feel like since I've pared down the amount of savings challenges that I do, um, I don't know, I've just been able to like focus a little bit more on the actual savings. And I, I feel like I'm, it's not taking me as long to make progress on my savings challenges. So back to my vacations binder before I forget, we will be adding the five here. So I believe that makes it 2,914. If I am remembering the balance there, I'm not gonna count it again, but yes. Okay. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for, if you've stuck around, go ahead and leave a little pumpkin emoji. And just thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch and very, very grateful to you all. 
and I hope you have a great day and week and I will see you in the next video. Bye!